Hello there, we are living in the age of the lip oil. Whether you're looking for something light on the lips in summer or more nourishing in winter, this is my top lip oil list featuring some of the most famous formulas on the market. Kiss of Colour, check. Juicy Shine, of course. Comfortable Feel, absolutely. Six sleek options you should know about. Excellent everyday products to keep in your bag or back pocket for a lovely layer of colour and shine with no stickiness. Could have expanded this to include my favourite cushiony glosses as well, so let me know if you'd like a part two. This video is sponsored by Squarespace, part of my ongoing work with the website builder I use to make matildaonvideo.com. It's the little hub for my content between YouTube and Instagram, so I want to hear what you want to see more of on the blog a bit later on. How did I decide what to include here when there are so many liquid lip balms, nourishing glosses and lip oils available? It had to have oil in the title basically, otherwise we'd be here all day. Lip oils are generally lighter and thinner than a gloss or balm, sort of a cross between balm results and gloss shine. Cushiony, great glide or slightly slippy, leaving lips feeling soft and lightly nourished. Some have a thicker consistency, so there's more of a cocoon effect, while others are quite thin. They usually feature nourishing, often naturally derived oils. You'll hear cherry, jojoba, avocado oils pop up a lot. But as with any hopefully hydrating lip product, results really vary from person to person, plus it comes down to your preference in terms of consistency, colour, feel and scent. If you're after punchy pigment, not the right place. These picks do get bolder as the formulas get thinner, but I personally find that means more movement and mess, so I prefer to blot the last couple. More on that later. I'll also leave discount codes below for websites where you can find a handful of these brands. Beginning with the oil I've been banging on about for two and a half years, Dior Lip Glow Oil. My original review in February 2020 is one of my most viewed videos, and these are now consistently sold out thanks to TikTok. This is my favourite product here because the feel is smack bang in the middle of a gloss and an oil. Not thin or slippy, but not thick or gloopy either. Medium thickness with no stickiness, but a little more of a gloss texture. And the greatest, comfiest doe foot in the world. Scent, very nice minty vanilla. Key ingredient, cherry oil. These also include Dior's colour reviving technology, which means soft pink on everyone, but I don't find the oils as bold as the Lip Glow Balms. Pink is a pretty light pink that looks fresh on its own or over neutral lip liners, and Rosewood here has a little more depth, a dusty rose peach pink. Desperate to try mahogany, but it hasn't reached Australia yet. If you see these in stock somewhere, leave the location below. Another brand dominated the lip oil scene long before Dior. Clarins Lip Comfort Oil dates back to the 1950s, so this is like Clinique Black Honey, back in a big way. It recently had a makeover with new packaging and a new formula, but I haven't been able to pin down the exact changes. If you're a Clarins lover, please share what you think of the before and after. Scent strong, sweet, sugary, berry-like. Key ingredients, jojoba and hazelnut oils. Doe foot comparison, a little longer in the new packaging on the right, now more in line with Dior's excellent doe foot. These are the same shape really, but I do still prefer the feel of Dior's, it's just fluffier. I have an old 03 Red Berry, which leaves a low-key red tint, the new shade Cherry might be closest, and the formula felt fairly similar to Dior, but 09 Chocolate, a recent purchase because Dior Mahogany never arrives, feels thinner. This is the new formula. Smooth, less stick, still soft results, but doesn't hang around as long. Let me know what you think if you've compared them. Kosas Wet Lip Oil Glosses are an excellent oil gloss example. Much thinner than Dior or Clarins, but still feels like a light, juicy gloss. It's not watery or barely there. The almost balmy consistency puts it closer to an oil than the previous two, though. Scent? Cupcake-like orange creamsicle, according to Americans. Key ingredients, hyaluronic acid, evening primrose oil, and peptides. Doe foot, the only downside. I want more of it. It's thin, pointy, doesn't pick up much product. These are now known as the Wet Lip Oil Plumping Treatment Gloss. I swear that's only a recent name change. Nothing truly plumping about these originals, no tingling or burning, just shine that makes your lips look full. Jaws is a great glossy red. It's described as a hot blood red, summery and warm. Then Dip is a nice neutral, although a few more have launched since the original five. It's called a neutral, pearly nude, a bit rosy on my lips with a touch of shimmer to give them a glow, not glittery though. 
The Bobbi Brown crushed oil infused glosses don't exactly roll off the tongue, but they feel amazing on the lips. You can catch my previous review swatching the entire range. This texture is everything I'd hoped for in a gloss. And no, we're not meant to be getting into comfortable glosses today, but this is an oil gloss, so it's on the guest list. Beautifully balmy, lightweight, incredibly smooth glide, hydrated looking, soft shine. For a lip oil, it's thicker than Kosas and has less slip, but for a gloss, it does feel fairly nourishing. Scent slightly citrusy in line with Bobbi Brown's crushed range. Key ingredients, hyaluronic acid, vitamin E, avocado and jojoba oils. Force of Nature is one of my most worn shades, described as medium pink brown. Very natural, just deeper than my natural lip colour. And Free Spirit is called lush pink beige, but comes across as more of a light peachy nude. Merit has made waves in the minimal makeup world. A brand overview is still on the way, I promise. The shade slick tinted lip oils weren't quite what I was expecting compared to the rest of the lip oils I love. We've left thicker oils and oil glosses behind and passed through the arrival gates at Thin Oil Airport. These are much lighter and almost watery. Comfy, but no sense of slip or slide like the others. But that's by design. They're actually described as somewhere between an oil and a light stain. Anything with a thinner consistency like this is going to wear away a lot quicker than a thicker oil, so I personally don't find them as nourishing. Pretty sheer colour and a barely there feel instead. Scent, fragrance free. Key ingredients, rosehip, grapeseed and jojoba oils. Marrakesh is called soft peach, but there's some depth to this, like a great natural warm peach pink. Sangria is called deep berry and this is an excellent blackberry, not purpley. Given the thin texture, I sometimes find the deeper shades wear a little unevenly, so I like to lightly blot them. Finishing with the Ilia Balmy Gloss Tinted Lip Oil, capturing all angles of this video in one product name. Is it a balmy gloss or a tinted lip oil? I'd say lightly balmy lip oil. That slight slip is back, so it's thicker than Merit, but still not as thick as Kosas. Scent, natural based ginger yuzu, which I'd honestly never picked. It's just like a cosmetic taste. Key ingredients, hyaluronic acid, meadow foam seed oil, and salicornia herbacea extract. You'll notice how pigmented this is, remarkably so for such a light formula. Saint is described as rustic orange, almost an autumnal, everyday warm red. Very comfy, but considering we're at the thinner end of the scale, I personally don't find it as nourishing as thicker, cushiony oils. Ilia does have more grip on the lips than Merit, but to avoid thinner lip oils slipping and sliding in general, you could try lightly blotting with a tissue. What would you like to see more of? Clear lip oils? Back to balms? Comfy glosses? Let me know what I can put together on matildaonvideo.com. I started working with Squarespace in 2020, so it could be time for a redesign this year, going back to one of their stylish templates and customizing it. There's a lot more refer back to it later content I'd love to add for you. I've had so many DMs from viewers shopping their way through Paris lately using my list, lucky things. So maybe New York, London, LA tips next. There's a comment section built into every blog post, so let me know. If you're setting up a website, blog, or online store, Squarespace offer a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, you can visit squarespace.com Matilda to save 10% on your first website or domain name purchase. Let me know if you've fallen down a lip oil rabbit hole lately too. Which luxury or drugstore formulas have you found? Anything you think I should know about? Which products or shades would you go for from this lineup? No shortage of super sleek, comfy glosses in my collection alongside these lip oils, so let me know if you'd like me to cover those another time. Thanks for watching, see you next time!